Hey, 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 Jackals! What do I have for you today? Well, let's take a look at this video. Did you like what you saw? Well, I have some good news and I have some bad news. The bad news is that you can't use the built-in effect in DaVinci Resolve 17 if you don't have the studio version, which looks something like this. The effect is static, but you can move the center. And this is also the template that I've used to make my own effect, which looks something like this. But before I show you the effect and the changes that you can do, let's go to the good news. The good news is that you'll be able to download this effect completely for free. But consider subscribing to my channel if you want to get the Vinci Resolve content twice a week. Now before you download the effect and close the video, let me just show you how to install it and use it. To download it, you'll find the link in the description. To install it, you'll use one of these two locations if you use a Windows or Mac. And to use it, simply open the effects, type in drone, you'll see this one, and simply drag it onto the clip. Then once you do, open the inspector and the effects tab will be clickable. So click on that. As you can see, you have a bunch of color options. We have the center position of the target, just like the original one has. But what the original one doesn't have is the zoom. So I can zoom in. And we have some animation with the center position and we zoom in here. We can also change the minimap position to wherever you want it to. You can also disable it if you don't want it or just make it less visible. We also have the grain if you want it or not. You can disable all of this. This will make it easier on the PC. We have the glow. And the last meaningful change that you can do is the grid with shape. So you can have the full grid or just small axis or pluses. And you can change any of the color that you want. Now the only thing that you can change is the animation inside and the animation of the small lines outside. And as you can see, when it's playing it's stuttering, but when you render this out, the animation is smooth. Now the last piece of bad news is that I won't be showing you how to make this effect, at least not in today's video. So if you want to know how to make a minimap and how to make animations that don't break when you put them inside an effect, then consider subscribing to my channel. Now if you want to get more free effects like this one in the future, give the video a thumbs up so I know and subscribe to my channel to get more DaVinci Resolve and video editing content twice a week. I'm Simon and until next time Jackals, keep it digital.